Today I am going to teach you how to run Hiren's Boot CDPE in Windows 10 or 11. There are some system requirements to run Hiren's Boot CDPE on a computer. You at least need a 2 GB RAM. Your computer should support UEFI booting and there should be a 64-bit operating system. Now, open your browser and search for Hiren's Boot CDPE. Then click on the link download as shown in the video. The link is in the description below. Now, you need to download the ISO file. And to do that, you need to scroll down. Then you can see the link that downloads the ISO. You need to click on it and the ISO will start downloading. Now you need a 8GB USB drive to create a bootable USB. To create it, you need to download Rufus. Now, open your browser and search for Rufus Download. Now, click on the link that appears first. I'll put the link in the description. Now scroll down. You can see some links. Download the portable version. After it downloads, simply double click on it. Then it will open. Now, connect the USB drive. Select the USB drive. Then select the ISO file. Set the partition scheme to MBR and the file system to FAT32. Now, click on Start. Then Rufus will write the USB drive. Make sure you back up any data on the USB drive before you proceed. This process will take a while. Wait until it finishes. After it's done, close Rufus. Now connect the USB drive to the unbootable computer, then boot from it. I'm going to show you how the Hiren's Boot CDPE works. I will use a virtual machine. Hiren's Boot CDPE will start loading, then it will pop up the booting screen.
After it boots, it will initialize Hiren's boot CDPE. This will take some time. After it's done you can work with it. This is just like Windows, with some minor differences. Now you can back up your data and install Windows again. This includes a lot of recovery tools, you can back up using them. Also, there are some apps like Paint and Notepad. You can work with them like you do normally. After you press shutdown, it will take few seconds to turn off. I hope you learned something new today. Please like and subscribe.